I've already shuffled down what we're going through the present time. We'll take a look at how your person is seeing you, how you see them, and why it's happening. So, Taurus, for the present time, we've got this Tower card, and it's paired with the, the Lovers card. Now, the Tower card, just to explain it, is a very interesting looking card. It's about trying to hold too tightly to the status quo, which can be a disaster. So it's about needing to roll with any changes that come up. And I say this because it's likely that some people, situations that you've counted on as being there for you, they may no longer be there in quite the same way. Now this doesn't have to be drastic because we all know change it's the nature of life, and if we try to prevent it, it's going to be like trying to row upstream without a paddle. Also, I hate to tell you this, but if you've been building some castles in the air, for some of you tours, this could be the time that some of them come crashing down to earth. And that's only going to be a problem if you let it be, because you'll be able to replace them with some more realistic and reachable dreams and goals if they do fall apart towards the end of this month. Just keep in mind that dreaming is important, but it's important to be real it's important to be living in a reality too. So for your present time, the lover's card. And we just talked about the tower. So, with this um, Lover's card, it's a pretty card. It's associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. It's possible, when this, when this card shows up in a reading, that you're going to start to feel ambivalent about a relationship or a situation. Yeah. But it could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another. But the thing to do is, within the bounds of your morality, is to follow your heart. Yeah, when you get this lover's card, follow your heart. Some people say there are only two modes, two modes that any of us operate under at a time. And that's either fear or love. Now, like I said, when you get the lover's card, it's showing that it's safe to choose love. So... It's interesting because you got the tower here and then you got the lover's card. So with the tower, you become enlightened by something that comes crashing down. And then it looks like a great love comes in. A great love. Now, if you know for sure, if you say, oh, no great love ever comes my way. If you know for sure of this, that it's not a great love, then it could just be a great, a, a darn good opportunity that's coming in for you. Some really fantastic opportunity that's coming in. But it happens after something falls apart. Yeah. And the lover's card, also just a little side note about this card. It does usually mean that it's bringing love, or love is about to come towards you in big capital, bold letters, to the center stage of your life. This is either a new relationship, or it could be a rebonding, a powerful rebonding of an old one. Either way, you'll be happy about how romance is going, and others will notice that you look really happy. But like I said, if you know this is this could never be you, <laughs> like some people say, oh, I just have no luck with it, with love, then then it's a it's some type of great opportunity coming in for you, Taurus. Okay, but something's coming down first. Something's gonna come crashing down, and it's gonna be out of your control. But just roll with the changes, like I said, because you got this great opportunity or this grand love that's coming in. So that's what we have for the present time. Now, if you're dealing with someone, let's take a look at how they see you. They see you like the Empress, 
and the Ace of Wands. Now the Empress is another interesting looking card. This beautiful lady with the green face up there. Uh, she is one who does not play by the rules. She has her own way of doing things. And her own, own ideal of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors. Any and all endeavors. This doesn't mean she'll always get her way, but it's a reminder for you, Taurus, not to ignore your creative and intuitive side. This card is about coming abundance, but don't make the mistake of thinking that that will always be financially. Because there's many types of wealth and riches in life, and money is only one of them. And with the Empress showing up in your reading, uh, it's about encompass encompassing any, any and all of them. More than just wealth. You can accomplish, you can encompass more than just wealth. It's about coming abundance in all kinds of ways with this Empress here showing up in your reading. And that's how they see you, your person. They see you as this Empress. Yeah. They see you. Hmm. The Empress stands for deep love. A relationship becoming sweeter, deeper, more truer, more true. Um, but it's with, so let's clarify it. It's with this Ace of Wands. Now, the Ace of Wands is about new beginnings, positive new beginnings. They could be in the area of work or career, but it could go either way. Just know with this Ace of Wands, if you're having a difficult time, things are about to get much better very soon. Because this Ace of Wands, is, it's bursting into the, into the clouds, into the air. It's not just in there. It's just went bam. So things are about to get better really fast if you're having a difficult time now. This card is about upbeat, optimistic, and being hopeful about the future with a really good cause. So you'll be feeling energetic and positive, or you will be feeling that way soon, very soon. It also tells you that now is a good time to start something new. Yeah, we're all at home, locked in. It's a good time to start something new. So that explains the Ace of Wands. So it's... Your person, they see you as a deep love. A deep love with this Empress. And uh, they see you uh, wanting a, a passionate, fresh start. Yeah, they see you uh, wanting this connection to undergo a new beginning. Because there's a deep love there. Now let's take a look at how you see your person. Now you see them as this Queen of Cups. And you also see them as a Page of Wands. Now the Queen of Cups it indicates a woman who will be helpful to you. Uh, the Queen reminds us to bring love and compassion to our work. Even in, And that's even possible. It is possible if, if you work in factory... If you work in a factory all day rather than with people, things are probably better in your working world when you get this card. Uh, when it talks about love and relationships, it's a very positive card, very positive outlook on a relationship. And uh, it just reminds you about love and compassion, this, this Queen of Cups. And this is how you see your person, very nurturing, healing. You see them as very supportive. Now, it's with the Page of Wands. Now, the Page of Wands is um, it's about being warm, ambitious, high, achieving, high achievers is this Page of Wands. If this is not an actual person, it's about the energy of easy distraction. So it's about trying to stay focused. Um, Things that you started some time ago, they might start to feel like it's coming to fruition. 
Also, it can show a need for new things, new adventures, new approaches, new ideas. It's a very positive energy. So they see you with a lot of passion, just like you. you with this Ace of Wands is a lot of passion. They see you with a lot of passion, too, with this Page of Wands. A lot of passion. Uh, you see them with a lot of passion. Hmm, I'm sorry, I keep saying that word. <laughs> but anyway, back to how you see them. I'm not going to say that word again, but uh, the Page of Wands is just like this Ace of Wands that we just talked about. So you guys are pretty much marrying each other. Yeah, now the Queen of Cups is um, wanting to be supportive and loving, very compassionate. So... Yeah, you see them wanting to, to uh, continue to explore this connection. But you also see them as sometimes getting easily distracted. But you know that they have... Uh, they're excited about this connection. And that they want to nurture it. Heal any problems that come up and be supportive. And that's how you see them. So you both are pretty much mirroring each other. This is a good thing so far. Well, let's take a look at why it's happening. We got the Four of Swords. It's with the Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Four of Swords, it's showing somebody needs a break there. This man, he's on, the, he's on his back and he's out. And these dogs are surrounding him trying to figure out what should we do. Yep. This is our... Hmm, is this our person for today, or what should we do with this? So, you, somebody needs a break, Taurus. Is it you or your person? This can mean that you or someone in your life, they may withdraw for a time. This withdrawal, this withdrawal is not likely to be permanent, but you might feel like somebody's ghosted you. It also could mean illness or time in the hospital. Or another example, could mean time in jail. Those are just examples. It doesn't mean that it's going to happen. It, somebody could just disappear all of a sudden for a day. Okay, but it's about somebody withdrawing. But like I said, don't panic. It's not permanent. It's a temporary withdrawal. So... It's a signifier to give people their space, especially if they're asking for it, give it to them. You are in need of some space and some time for yourself, probably. Others could be pushing you too hard for bits and time of your attention. Don't hesitate to draw boundaries for yourself and just say no. On the other hand, when others say no to you, take them at their word. Because if you push in this circumstance, is going to be asking for trouble. So why it's happening, there, there's a, some feelings of disconnection here. Um, there's a need for rest after some type of struggle. And it's also with this Nine of Pentacles, which is a very uplifting card in the tarot, very uplifting. It's... Nine of Pentacles, it's saying your financial worries, they're over for a while. And that things will be going better than you thought possible. So it's really good energy. Share your wealth and happiness with others. Yep. So, someone needs a break. Someone, uh, looks like someone is walking away temporarily. Or it could just feel like somebody, like I said, ghost is ghosting you or you, them, Taurus. But there's some type of solitude, some recovery is needed. Uh, like I said, rest after some type of struggle. And then this Nine of Pentacles 
it brings the it brings the finer things of life to you. Uh, the connection moves to new heights of intimacy and joy. So basically, to recap this, the present time, there's something, something comes crashing down. Okay, we got the tower card. And then the lovers, it brings in a very big, huge opportunity. It could be a, a rebonding of the love that you're in. Or a new love or just a good opportunity. Okay, now you and your person, you're marrying each other. They want a fresh new start with you. Or could be somebody new coming in, but I'm picking up. Uh, this is how your person is seeing you, so it's not a new person. It's the person that you're dealing with. And they um, they see you that you want this um, connection to... rekindle or either to start to feel like a new beginning or start a new beginning with them even if it's old just rebond in a new way and they see you as this empress so they got a deep you see they see you having a deep love for the, them in this connection and you see them as wanting to offer kindness compassion and uh yeah new beginnings you see them wanting the new, a new beginning too with the page of wands but then there's some type of uh something happens where somebody wants to withdraw or someone just withdraws for whatever reason could be uh could be a reason a good reason but then it's temporary And then all of a sudden, you got this Nine of Pentacles here. Whereas, um, when your person comes back, it, it gets better. The connection moves to new heights of intimacy and joy with this Nine of Pentacles there. Okay, so you just got, you got to go through a couple of things here. You got the Tower card. Then you got this great opportunity for deep love with the lovers, okay? And I'm picking up that it's it's love with the person, okay? Because and I say that because there's a rest, some type of rest is needed after they get the rest. Then you take off to the nine of pentacles, whereas everything is just great, everything is perfect for quite some time. Yeah, it's going to um, feel really good because you got the lover's card in there. So it's going to bring this, it's going to bring love in big, bold capital letters to the center stage of your life. Because mm -hmm. you got two really good cards here. Nine of Pentacles and the lover's card. So that's not bad. You just got to go through that tower moment and then somebody's going to withdraw. But like I said, they're coming back. They are coming back and then things turn around for the better. So, Taurus, as you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. And... Um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. There's going to be a link below of the extended where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for our personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. Once again, Torrance, thank you so much for watching. And I hope that 2020 is going well for you. And I hope that you have a great day.